In this video, we're going to take a bunch of metals and stick them in a fire to see what color they turn. To record the wavelength of the photon that each metal produces, a spectrophotometer made by veneer is going to be used. A fiber optic cable will be pointed at the flame. The color is then transmitted to the cell, uh, which is then read by the spectrophotometer. The spectrophotometer is plugged in via USB to a computer. Software we use to analyze all the data is called Logger Pro, which is also made by Vernier. Here I just have a screenshot that I took from their website earlier today. Alternatively, you can use one of Vernier's handheld units, which I call the LabQuest, which you can see here. Uh, both of those will work sufficient for any type of wavelength reading you need. So first up, we have a lithium uh, salt, so lithium chloride. You can see it's a very bright red color. The photons produced, as you can see by the photospectrum here, is about 675, give or take a few. Next up we have strontium. Strontium is also a nice red color, very similar to lithium. Here there's a much greater variety of photons produced than just a single one at 675. Next up we have sodium. Uh, sodium is known for its intense yellow, yellowish orange colors. Here we see the photons produced are roughly around 595 nanometers. Next up we have a calcium chloride salt. Here we have a photon, uh, roughly a little over 620. Uh, and there's also a few photons produced right around that 600 nanometer range. Copper is usually unique in that it's that greenish, greenish blue color. So here we see a very wide absorption between 400 and around 550 or so, which is very strongly in the blue and green. Well, chemists, thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in again to look at more lab demonstrations.